I don't even know why I made this into a poll. I don't even know why I included other options to the poll because we all knew Accelerator and Flash would be in the poll. I knew the outcome. You knew the outcome. Everyone knew the fucking outcome. <sighs> All right, let's see how many people I can piss off this time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the one and only YouTube channel where we just talk shit about your favorite mainstream anime. Animes like My Hero Academia, Attack on Titan, Sword Art Online, JoJo's, and many, many more. Sword Art Online, oh my god. How the fuck have I made over 30 videos on this YouTube channel and not once talked about this fucking incest trash? Literally in every season of Sword Art Online, there is at least one scene where the female is sexually assaulted. Don't believe me? Go fuck and watch this garbage for yourself actually actually please don't watch this save yourself some fucking time go watch a better anime than this fucking shit the whole story of sword Art online is just fucking bad who the fuck cares there are flying fucking elves who the fuck cares that this bitch yuki died if you're going to be sad don't be sad over this fucking garbage if you're gonna cry watch real animes like clan ad and ohana your lion april a silent voice or even i want to eat your pancreas those are fucking good animes sword Art online is so fucking bad it literally makes ray zero look good in comparison and everyone who watches my fucking channel knows how much i fucking hate ray zero the only reason why you fucking fat cows like sword Art online is because you get a fucking boner by looking at fucking asuna sinon or even fucking Rifa. literally that's the only fucking reason why you guys fucking watch this shit it's already bad enough that we're getting a new sword Art online movie but like if we get more seasons of ray zero i'm literally going to get into a bus and fucking drive that shit off a cliff into the fucking ocean where I can fucking drown myself to fucking death. Bro, Sword Art Online is so fucking shit, and they know it's so fucking right. shit. They had to make a movie about what happened in season one because no one gives a fuck what happens past season two. Anyways, in my last video, I had a picture for you guys to try and guess. Many people said Shut animes from like K-On, Familiar Zero, and more. Good guesses, but they are all wrong. This is the picture when it's pixelated, and of course, this is the picture when it's not pixelated. Five days later, after my Jin Moi vs. Sung Jin Woo video came out, someone finally commented to the actual correct character so i had to go back into my editing after i've already edited quite a bit of it and put this dude in person who guesses correctly was zai tian yeah, I don't know how to fucking pronounce her name, dude. The character I used this time was Yuma Okazaki. She is from an anime called Netsuzo Trap. Guys, do not watch this anime. It's so bad. The animation is fantastic, but it's so fucking bad. It's like fucking Sword Art Online garbage. As shit as this anime is, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the opening was actually really fucking good. But seriously, guys, don't watch this fucking Yuri garbage. Well, Othinus, why did you watch this Yuri anime, dude? You fucking loser! Look, man. I told you, bro. I watched it for the animation, and I watched it for the opening. With all that being said, I am stuck at 4 points to the community's 11. Anyways, if you guys enjoy the videos I make, be sure to turn on the bell. I try to upload every Monday or Sunday. It just depends on how much editing I can get done, because I am actually a busy person. And of course, I don't have all the time in the world to make these videos. But if you guys do enjoy like watching what I produce, subscribe, leave a like on the video, and of course, comment more verse battle topics you would like to see in the future. I will try to get to all of them, but... I mean, like, let's be real, bro. It's we're gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be a fucking millennia right, before we get to all of them. Now, before we get into the video, I want to make this very, very clear. Your opinion does not matter. My opinion fucking matters. Cry about it. Exceller has been on this channel for a very long time, and he is still the best anime light novel character to ever be created. No one can dispute this fact. If you are one of the people in the world who does not know of Accelerator or his abilities, you're already fucked up in life. But if you truly are one of the unfortunate people who don't know what his abilities are, his ability is just basically vector manipulation. Now, I feel like I need to explain this because vectors are a huge part of physics, and this fucker Flash literally breaks the laws of physics. But to put this in simple terms, a vector is anything with a direction and magnitude. Of course, since we covered Accelerator before, we will not be talking about him, but it's kind of obvious that we're going to be using his platinum wings when he's contracted to Cleave Puzzle 545. Wally West is the Flash we're going to be talking about. Not this Flash. Sorry, Grant Gustin. But we will talk about the Wally West from the Rebirth series comic. From what people have told me, this is actually the strongest Flash in DC. Like, bro, we already know his speed is literally immeasurable. Like, bro, like, he out, he like, like, light can't keep up with him. He can outrun the implosion of the universe, and he can run away from literal fucking death. I don't need to explain anything more about how fast he is. Some of the Flash's more common abilities that people know of is that he can phase through objects. He can lend his speed to other people. He has the ability to steal 
steal speed from other people. Also, I want to clearly state something. People always ask me, how fast is the accelerator? Honestly, that's a very good question, and I feel like this is the perfect video to answer that question. In the actual anime, he was shown to reflect light-based energy attacks. He also stated he can reflect sun's light rays. So I'm gonna say he can't move at the speed of light, but he can reflect things up to the speed of light and much more. But again, this is just up to interpretation and what you believe. Guys, listen, I love accelerator. I really do. I will always try to make accelerator when each verse battle fight I use him in. Accelerator is literally Literally matched to a stalemate against Rimuru. He loses to Wang Ling and he loses to Anos. But that doesn't stop me from making these videos. You fucking hear that, you fucking Rimuru dick suckers? Rimuru cannot beat Accelerator. It's a fucking stalemate. Get your fucking ego out of your ass, you fucking. Troglodytes! Guys, I literally spent four fucking days looking for information to see if Accelerator can actually win against the Flash. And the short answer is yes and no. What the fuck does that mean? I'll fucking tell you because it's pretty fucking confusing. Let's talk about the Flash's immeasurable speed first. This is something that needs to be talked about. Can Flash get through Accelerator's vector shield? That is the question everyone wants answered. And now let me explain to you what I think actually happened. As you all know, Accelerator has the power to manipulate vectors because there is a calculation involving a direction and a magnitude. As long as something can be calculated, there is a vector. It doesn't matter the speed at which a person goes. Massively faster than the speed of light. Faster than light. Super high fucking what? Quadrillion billion faster speed of light. That's not even a fucking thing, but let's say it was. It doesn't matter. There is a calculation which can be quantified. In the end, if something can be calculated or quantified, it can be reflected. Also, we know that accelerators wings do the calculations for him automatically. Even if massively faster than the speed of light there's still a quantifiable number like i stated before so with that being said wally west flash cannot get through accelerator shield and this is not peak flash we're talking about we're just talking about wally west flash we are going to get to like peak immeasurable speed flash don't worry i'm getting to that trust me but i'm just saying if it's just the flash and accelerator no it does not matter how fast it is he cannot get through the fucking vector shield now let's move on to the next topic what about imaginary vectors first we need to define what an imaginary vector Vector is. I guess the best way for me to explain what this shit is is that he can just control things that don't have direction and magnitude. Or he can destroy what doesn't have direction and magnitude. Like, again, I don't, I hate bringing this up over and over and over and over because all you fuckers know, but like, yes, he destroyed a magical contract with his vector manipulation ability in New Testament. I mean, that already says more than enough of what he can do with imaginary vectors. With the help of his wings doing all the calculations for him, and with Cleep Puzzle 545 giving him boosted reflection capabilities with the use of imaginary vectors which are being amplified due to his personal reality because this is a thing that all espers have in the Tawar universe. It doesn't matter if vectors are involved or not. If Accelerator feels like he can do it, chances are he could probably fucking do it with vector manipulation. Also guys, let's not forget that Accelerator can reflect Kakine's dark matter. If Accelerator can reflect Kakine's dark matter, it does not matter how fast the Flash is. The Flash will not be able to touch Accelerator. If Accelerator can reflect something that does not physically exist in the world, it doesn't even matter how fast Wally is in this case. With the use of imaginary vectors, the trio clone up, and of course Cleave Puzzle 5 for 5 at Accelerator's disposal, yeah, Wally isn't fucking touching Accelerator. I do not think the Flash can touch Accelerator due to his use of imaginary vectors, which cannot be seen. That is the reason why I don't think, even with immeasurable speed, that is the reason why I do not think the Flash can touch Accelerator. This is just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about this. This is a very heavily debated topic, but again, this is all theoretical, but this is what I believe. And again, remember what I said earlier? My opinion is right. Yours is incorrect. Even if the Flash is at immeasurable speed, his highest, most prominent attack of what you guys would call is only low complex multiversal. Accelerator has tanked and reflected attacks that are high complex multiversal, mainly from reflecting Corazon's magical flaming sword attack. Again, so to clarify, with all of this being said, Wally West Flash cannot break through Accelerator's vector shield with imaginary vectors with his platinum wings with Cleep Puzzle 545 backing him up. Now, in my opinion, while Accelerator can reflect immeasurable speed attacks with imaginary vectors, I do not believe he can stop the Flash from going back in time and wiping his beautiful self away from existence. Sure, Accelerator can change the laws that govern the world, but Flash might be long gone by then. It just depends. Let me explain more about this later. Truthfully, yes, the Flash can only time travel to be accelerated, but 
if we are being brutally honest right now, Accelerator's understanding of the law of magic that Cleave Puzzle 545 has given him, his understanding of his own personal reality and his own understanding of vectors, he honestly could time travel by himself theoretically. I'm just waiting for Kamachi to give Accelerator that fucking big buff buff. But yes guys, sadly... While the Flash can, in fact, erase Accelerator from existence, there yeah. are some things I want to talk about. If Accelerator managed to hit the Flash with so manipulation that it is, in fact, Accelerator's win. Let me let me elaborate on this a little bit more. I know you fucking nerds won't like this answer. Yes, time travel is most likely a last resort option for the Flash in an actual verse battle if they were fighting. If Accelerator can change the laws that govern the world before the Flash breaks the laws to travel time, I do believe Accelerator can actually win. Wally West cannot touch accelerator no matter how fast he is the only course of action for him to do is go back in time and erase from existence for the sake of this video i'm going to say accelerator and wally can win it literally comes down to who is first to do what it just depends like does accelerator change the laws of the world does the flash go back in time first you see does the flash get hit by so manipulation first it just it just all depends there are so many outcomes that's why i think in my opinion that this is actually a win for both characters but a loss for both characters that's my answer fuck you i I don't give a shit for fucking mad but overall guys since i know you actually want me to answer the question who actually would win the verse battle i'll give it to the flash i'll give it to the wally west flash the Wally West Flash will beat Accelerator due to his immeasurable speed to time travel back into the past. I do want to argue and say that there is potential for Accelerator to change the laws of the world before he moves back to the past, but honestly, I don't think that's even a thing. Even with imaginary vectors, even with the automatic calculations, I don't think Accelerator can actually change the laws before he goes back in time to change the physics to where the Flash cannot move that quickly. If there was someone who was not at immeasurable speed like the Flash, I do feel like he could prevent time travel like you know just by changing the laws but again this is all theoretical all spectacle but for the sake of this video i will say yeah the flash kind of wins this one it's a very sad day ladies and gentlemen very sad day also i didn't want to talk about the mobius chair just because it's just not fun to talk about something that fucking overpowered if the mobius chair was involved it's 100 percent the flash's win since you guys really want me to talk about it because i'm guaranteed you're like the strongest version of the flash <laughs> there i hope you guys are happy and satisfied with the flash winning this it is a sad day, but again, Accelerator cannot beat every character. He is strong, but he is not the strongest. I'm not, I've already talked for way too long about this, so this is a pixelated picture on the screen right now. Have fun trying to guess this shit. Good luck. If you get the answer correctly, I'll shout you out in the next video. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a thumbs up on the video. It really does help out a lot, and it makes me aware that you guys actually like what you're seeing, and it makes me want to produce more content for you guys in the future. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you guys agree that Flash just hard wins this, or do you think Accelerator can actually win this because of all the points I made earlier? You guys don't like that answer, so we're just going to go with the facts that the Flash hard wins with the Mobius chair, and he just hard wins by just going back in time and just erasing Accelerator from existence. Anyways, my video should be popping up on the screen right now. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. Yep, and of course, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.